Hi, it's Elizabeth. Uh, welcome to my really tidy flat. <laughs> the deep cleaning just doesn't stop. We're on lockdown. I hope you are as well as you can be under the circumstances. Um, never done this before. Don't know how to edit, so forgive me. I'm just going to be uploading this as it's as it is. Uh, things that could go wrong are the soundproofing in my flat is really bad, and normally there are two dogs and four children upstairs as well as two adults. So we'll see what happens. It's pretty quiet just now. Um, what I thought I would do is uh, do a facial massage to camera so that you can grab some hip pause grab some facial oil or some really really nice uh nice you know uh, moisturizer that's almost like philadelphia cheese you know that kind of texture well that's what my skin's craving just now it feels quite dry um i have prepped my skin um i did a cheeky wee double cleanse uh used a, a very light exfoliator on it and uh, ding dong here we are no makeup um so I'll just pin my hair back and we'll get started. So the reason that I wanted to do this was because, and this is for men too, this is just not for women. Um, I just thought, well, it'd be quite nice just to sort of give yourself a bit of a Saturday night facial. I normally do this on a Friday. I will do it on this Friday coming, but I, uh, yesterday I got caught up with other things and watching the news far too much. Um, I'm sure that maybe you've got a bit better at limiting what you're watching yourself and where you're getting your news from. I really do think that's quite important to keep stress levels low to to just watch watch out for the truth. Uh, anyway, so uh, facial oil. I just made one myself. Um, I'll go through what's in it. I'll write it down what I, I did, but I just basically followed a recipe that I found. I'm, I'm doing a, a course in aromatherapy at the moment. Uh, and it was one of their practice ones there. So there's some olive oil, there's all oh, of oh, squealing, beg your pardon, proper name, uh, some pomegranate, uh, cheeky wee bit of jojoba, and um, a couple of drops of frankincense in here as well. So why facial massage? Why not? Um, why am I using a facial oil? Well, as the good lady Joanna Laxton, who owns an amazing place called 33 Dowen Hill, uh, her take on that is just cut out the middleman because moisturizers have got facial oils in them so why not just to use a really great facial oil to moisturize your skin anyway um so facial massage the results that i get from clients are it eases off headaches um, you've got a huge set of muscles that come right over the back of the skull to the top of your eyebrows called your frontalis muscles. And you've also got another set of muscles in between here that begin with a P and I can't remember their name right now, but they look like a number 11. They look like two, you know, like that. Peck. Peck. No, can't remember. Anyway, let's just crack on. So I've got some facial oil on my hands and I am just going to apply 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 very lightly so here's the thing right it looks like i'm going to be giving my skin quite a going over as i do this there is a difference between dragging your skin and actually getting uh, massaging the facial uh, muscles um so we're not dragging the skin but we are creating a little bit of uh, blood flow and releasing tension. It's no different from me getting my elbow into somebody's shoulders or you know uh, doing a doing a move up somebody's back to, to release tension. That's exactly what we're doing here. We're respecting the skin and we're being kind to our skin. Uh, we're not dragging it, but we're just going a little bit deeper by using our knuckles and things like that. So we're just gonna have a, a bit of a play around and just get to know what your face feels like. Um, just doing this all kinds of fabulous what's not to like um, a move that you can do just with the tips of your fingers are to go around that frontalis muscle that I spoke about there um, and try not to make yourself fall asleep whilst you're doing it because it feels really nice going over the tops of your eyebrows right like this um, and then that frowny one that we've got in the middle what you can do is have one finger this way and that way and then swap sides 
and it just goes for those muscles that look like a little number 11 between your brows. I'm obviously condensing what I'm doing so that you're not getting too bored. <laughs> um, but you know, these are, these are really great things that you can do, uh, for yourself. Um, just to ease off tension in your face. So now what I'm going to do is a bit of a figure of eight and what I'm doing is I'm following the lines of my eyebrows like this. You don't definitely don't want to drag the skin under the eyes here. It's very fragile. Well, not very fragile, but do you know what I mean? You, you have to you have to show a bit of respect. Um, so we can do a bit, of, a bit of a figure of eight thing going on there. And then going around here just coming under your cheekbones absolutely amazing getting into your buccinators i'll have you know these are the muscles here that puff out that you see trumpet players like dizzy gillespie he had amazing ones um you can you can look that up so you're kind of like scooping and sculpting under there amazing and then this is my favorite part the jaw so in people and something that i'm quite conscious of myself is tension in the jaw um your masseters and your pterygoids they'll have you know are the strongest muscles in the body it's amazing what you think about what they're doing they're grinding food that they're grinding all day you know when you're when you're having a when you're eating that is or not all day but sometimes during the night people if they've got a lot of tension anyway um they can be it's quite common for people to grind their teeth or clench their teeth and they're not aware of it and what happens here is that the the jaw is the only moving part of your of your skull like that yeah these muscles here that hold the jaw in place um they can bulk up because they're getting used so much and that's how sometimes <clears throat> like people can start to get quite a square kind of look here because these muscles are getting overworked um, a good example of somebody that's got very strong pterygoids, would you believe, are have a look at any Formula One driver because the torque that they're having to resist when they're going around corners and wearing these really heavy helmets as well. There we are. So how we get into these boys here? We're just going to do like a this kind of motion here. And we're just going to pinch along the jaw and that just feels really nice. Wah. So you've got lymph nodes just behind your ears here. Anything that is good to go in the same direction of the limp is the into the lymph nodes is marvelous. Any kind of movement or massage stimulates your lymphatic system where your immune system lives. Um, so your blood supply is pumped around your body by your heart, um, but your lymphatic system uh, relies solely on muscle tone and movement to keep it ticking over and so the stuff doesn't get stagnant that's why sometimes your legs can feel heavy if you've been sitting all day because the limp is going oh, we don't know what to do we can't move you know and it really does make that noise no I'm joking anyway so we can just do this pinching motion here along the jaw and then here's the fun bit just using the knuckles like that you can really get into that and notice I'm not dragging the skin I'm just getting really, really nicely. And you can get underneath as well here, get a little bit of blood going there too. And you'll notice probably my skin's starting to look a little bit pink. That's okay. By the way, I'm not trying to pass myself off as a facialist here. This is purely about the massage side of things. Although I am a, a bit of a, you know, skincare freak. I do love it. I am 50. So just getting into all that. So... You'll feel like when you've had enough yourself and you can do obviously the classic scooping up motion. There we are. So it doesn't take that much and you can get into the cheeks here too. Kind of like up and down motions like that. Play around, get to know the contours and get stuck in. There we are. And then this is a nice one for your eyes. What you do is you just like that kind of movement there. So you just go into the like that do that you notice my skin's gone quite pink I'm happy about that that's fine it'll look lovely and fresh when I wake up tomorrow morning and then this is the classic just getting into your temples yeah a dab a do ah it just feels so nice we we're all so stressed out this week loads of stuff going on week one of lockdown 
you know, it's just like, it's just, this will never happen again, hopefully. But it's all about how we come out with the other side of it. What are you going to have to show for it? I'm going to have a really tidy house, I know that. Um, I've also got courses that are lying in my Udemy basket that I'm getting stuck into, so I'm cracking on with them too. But there we are. Ta-da! Hope I didn't bunny on too much, but that's basically... I'm quite happy with that. I did a, as I say, I did a double cleanse, cleanse and an exfoliate um, and then doing a, a bit of a facial massage just to ease all that off. And um, what I'll do the next time is I'll remember and bring my jade roller over and uh, show you how I do that too. Um, jade, jade is, uh, you know, jade rollers, you can order them uh, inexpensively off Amazon. I think they're about a tenner um, or so. Um, and they're really, really great. I especially love them if I have a if I have a hot flush in the middle of the night. Um, they're not so bad now, though. Um, if anybody's interested, I'll let you know what uh, supplements I'm on that are helping me with that. But the menopausal hot flushes are not as bad as they were. But when they were at their peak, the jade roller in the middle of the night. Oh my gosh! You know, people are like, "Oh, your skin's glowing," and I'm like, oh, "Thanks," because because I'm perspiring quite a lot um but there we are so i hope that was all right i hope you enjoyed that um and whatever you're going to get up to on your saturday night be well and um yeah be well so we started off just by applying we did some nice movements over the brow for this frontalis muscle we did this bit here we did the figure of eight, being very gentle underneath the skin of your eyes, but always following the line of the eyebrow. And then we did some lovely stuff around the jaw here, getting stuck in, being respectful of your skin, <clears throat> but getting deeper into the muscles and just doing those wiggly finger things, yeah? And there we are. So play around with those moves. It's just something a bit different to do for your nighttime routine. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If there are any questions, do uh, do do uh, ask me in the comments or you can uh, email me uh, directly or message me directly rather. Uh, but be well.